Hey guys, I'm Igor from Noblex Tech, where we test and review the most exciting electric vehicles on the market. And here we have the new Roadrunner RS5. I truly believe this is one of the major players in this price range right now. I'm super excited to unbox it. But before we begin, support our channel by smashing like and subscribe buttons. Now let's begin. It comes in a double box, so we found a manual with this charger. Oh yeah, this blue color looks really good. That's a perfect blue color. I really like it. That's a really nice looking Roadrunner badge. It's made from metal, not plastic. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What are you doing? Cleaning this mess! Let me attach the handlebars first. That's not a very simple task because we have lots of wires here at the back side of the handlebars. Usually it's a bit easier. And uh, you see the display is moving back and forth. There is a small screw on both sides, so you have to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay guys, here is the new Roadrunner RS5. The Roadrunner is a fully US-based brand with a headquarters in Denver, Colorado. As a huge electric scooter enthusiast, the owner of the Roadrunner scooters, Dale Ross, has developed a brand new line of electric scooters around what he knew his customers wanted. This is about being able to bring a product um, to life that, that people really want. He took all the customers' feedback and his own experience uh, with electric scooters and built his own brand, Roadrunner Scooters. And this is his flagship product, uh, the Roadrunner RS5. So the scooter has really good specs for the price. Uh, it's a 45 mile per hour scooter with uh, 40 miles of range. I think it's in real world conditions. Honestly, it looks way better than I expected. The scooter has a really futuristic design. RS5, the regular version, costs you $2,000 and uh, RS5 Plus with a larger battery with more range it will cost you $2,300 and you will get $100 off if you use our promo code. Before you start riding, you have to make sure every component on the handlebar is well tightened. There is one small screw. Here we have two keys for the ignition. So here is an actual place for the key. So you place the key in, turn it right. And uh, here is the button. Uh, to turn it on you long press that's how you switch it on and you change the gears by pressing this button one two and three here is the single dual mode let's test it now we are in dual mode third gear 55 miles per hour and the display is absolutely stunning. I mean, uh, that's a really nice looking display. It seems to be very clear as well. I hope it will work well in, in the direct sunlight. We have uh, Bluetooth blinking here all the time. I'm not sure what it is. We will find it out in our full review. I really like this Roadrunner badge. It really gives this extra touch to the, to the product, to the brand. The stem feels super solid and we have a really simple folding system. You rotate this buckle to fold the scooter and you pull this pin out. And here we go. You fold it and you actually can, you can latch the stem to the deck. And unfolding the scooter takes seconds, literally it's super easy. Here we go. <laughs> it's the first time in my life I have to read the manual actually, <laughs> because there is a security code on this deck lock. And uh, I will show you the deck really quick. Uh, have you ever seen such an organized deck and uh, the battery is removable? If your battery is depleted, you can buy a second one and uh, swap the battery and uh, ride again so that's really really cool feature and uh, you can charge 
the battery separately from the scooter so we have two charging ports you can charge this battery in like four hours and you're ready to go again so you can just take the battery go home charge it put it back in and go actually it's a sine wave controller uh, that's more efficient than those cheap square wave controllers and back to the security code it's zero 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 and now you can close the deck securely so I think it's possible to change the code to your own for more security. The amount of features that you get for $2,000 is absolutely insane. So it looks like they kept every little detail in mind while making this scooter. Let me know in the comments below if you know any better scooter on the market for $2,000. So let's sum it up. It looks like a full package for me. And uh, I know some of you guys have this scooter in the United States already. Uh, so I would really appreciate to see your feedback and your experience in the comments below. In our next video we will show you everything in detail, hopefully it's as good as they claim it to be. So we will do the full review on the Roadrunner RS5 Plus. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss this video. Ride safe and see you next time. Let's go for a ride. <laughs>